Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's world, everybody has a very tight schedule and nobody has time to cook. And nobody has time to cook those detailed recipes in which we have so many ingredients. So today I decided I'll show you a recipe in which there's literally five ingredients beside the main ingredient that we're using. And this recipe is called five ingredient keema recipe. So we're gonna be using ground chicken in this and the five other ingredients, what they are, I'll just tell you in a minute, but also just thought about the weather changing. It's, soon it's gonna be very hot, soon Ramzan is gonna come. Nobody is gonna have time to go in the kitchen and cook when it's really hot. For iftar, everybody is busy making snacks and stuff. But this five ingredient keema recipe that I'm going to share with you today is so simple with only five ingredients yet very delicious and in, it can be taken even at seri. You can have it with a piece of bread, with roti, paratha, naan, whatever you like. So I'm going to make this. It's going to be done in no time. Simple recipe yet very delicious. Let me show you the ingredients and after that, we'll get started. So let's get started. Yes. So as I told you, this is a five ingredient chicken keema recipe. The keema is right here. This is one pound and it's already washed. Next, we have over here the five main ingredients. And among those five ingredients are half a cup of oil, one tablespoon of red chili flakes, salt to taste, one teaspoon of cumin what? seeds. Onions, I've taken as much as the keema, the ground chicken. So this is something which is very important in this recipe. Whatever is the weight of the ground chicken keema, you have to take onion equivalent to that. So the same quantity of ground chicken same quantity of onion. So I have taken about three large onions here. And now we're gonna start making this. So we're gonna take a pan over here and in this I'm gonna add in the oil. And this pan is already preheating on medium heat. To the oil I'm gonna add the cumin seeds. Now I'm gonna add in the onions. And we'll just cook these onions till they turn translucent. Now as you can see the onions have turned soft and translucent and I had raised the heat so it was on medium before but now it's on between medium and high. So now at this point I'm gonna add in the ground chicken, the keema to the onion. We'll mix this up again. While we are mixing it we'll add the red chili flakes and the salt. Now I have mixed all the keema and the onion and the spices together. So now I'm going to cover it up. We'll put the heat on medium and we will cook this till our keema is cooked and till there's no water in our ground chicken. Till all the water that it's gonna release has evaporated, we're gonna cook this and then we'll come. After about 10 minutes or so, we'll come and check on this. So it has been 10 minutes now. I'm gonna open the lid and see what this is looking like. I did give it a stir like after five minutes and now after 10 minutes, this is what the ground chicken is looking like. The water is almost all gone. It did release a lot of water. Now there's no water and now it's almost done. As you can see, the look is really good. The onions, even though we put a lot of it, but don't worry about it. I promise you, this ground chicken is not going to taste sweet. I like the look of it. I like the aroma. I'm gonna dish it out. This is completely ready. So it is ready like in within 10 minutes, I can say. So I'm going to turn the heat off. That's it, it's done. Cover the lid again. Leave it for two minutes like that. And after that, I'm gonna dish it out and show you the final result.
So as you can see, I have dished out the ground chicken and it is looking absolutely delicious. I have uh, not dished it out in a bowl today. I have just dished it out in a plate to show you that this is actually how I'm going to serve it today. So I'm going to enjoy this keema with toasted bread. You can do the same. It tastes awesome with bread, toasted bread. And for the kids, I'm going to make sandwiches out of these breads. I'll show you a closer look so you can see what this schema exactly looks like. See, there was a lot of onion, but it's not showing at all. And you won't be able to taste the sweetness of onion because we've added a lot of red chili flakes. So it has equaled out the sweetness. The aroma is really good and I'm definitely going to give this a try to show you and tell you what it tastes like. Sometimes we make very difficult and complicated dishes and sometimes we make simple dishes and they turn out so great. So I'm going to take a bite with the bread. It's yummy and there's so much of flavor in it. The keema. The ground chicken has a lot of flavor in it. We did not add anything besides the cumin seeds, salt, onion, and the chili flakes. Nothing else was added. No chicken stock, no any other seasonings, no spices, no herbs, nothing whatsoever. Not even ginger garlic, but it tastes awesome. So that's what I was trying to tell you. Sometimes we make very complicated food and yet they don't turn out to be that delicious as compared to some in some dishes where we only use two three ingredients and they're simple dishes super simple and yet they turn out so delicious so this keema recipe is one of them trust me this keema is better than any korma any biryani and you won't be disappointed if you give this a try. So try it out. It's very easy, very helpful for Ramzan. Because in Ramzan, we all are busy doing namaz, prayers. Those are the things that should take up a lot of our time during Ramzan. So why not spend less time in the kitchen and make easy recipes? So I'm going to leave this up to you. Let me know what you think about this recipe. And if you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.